Hey everybody, welcome back to Dyson Sphere Program for another vertical episode. That's right, we're going to be building a few more of these towers. These ones right here. In fact, I would be lying to you if I said I hadn't already built a few more of those towers. In fact, I built a lot of those towers. So many of those towers, in fact, that the towers are now towering over the entire tower of, <laughs> of the planet. <laughs> Sorry, I lost it there. I lost it. Basically what I did was I just went around the planet, the whole thing, that's right, and uh, whenever I saw resources that had been untapped, unloved, unwanted, I uh, I tapped, loved, and wanted them. Basically, the coal is now in the tower. The copper is now in the tower. And there's some iron ore in the towers as well. Copper only becomes copper plates. There's no other recipes for it. So whenever I saw copper, made it into plates, put that in the tower. Pretty straightforward, right? However, iron is a more versatile girl and we want to put iron in the place where she's going to thrive the best which is in different foundries on different continents at different times you know we gotta live, let iron live its best life that's for sure i also went around and put all of our oil byproducts on the line uh this one was a little janky basically feeding in the reserve we've got feeding out that reserve and then kind of running this storage back into this storage it, it's a whole thing it really actually was kind of a nightmare to get right uh, science is no longer traversing the globe. Science is now going onto the logistics network and being transported up north over here. In fact, let's uh, let's go up north ourselves. And uh, I don't know how I picked up all that stuff. But there's our blue science coming into this machine. It's fully stocked up. Red science is down there. And as we begin to put more and more things on our network, eventually everything will be on the network and we'll do some cleanup. But uh, there was also some iron up here, so that's just that's just going into this. But we want to switch this thing over now to demand. I want this thing to bring science in huge numbers from wherever it may lie. And you'll see these drones will split off in different directions. They're very, very, very slow initially. There are researchers, quite a lot of researchers in fact, which I've speed them up pretty considerably. I don't know actually if we have any yet. No, we need yellow science to do it. But yeah, I mean, uh, 20, 10% logistics bot. Were well, these drones or bots? I actually have no idea. <laughs> I don't know what the game calls different things. The names of this game are a bit weird. These are drones. Okay, okay. So it's a 20% buff to drone speed and a 5, 5 buff. It's currently 25, so 5 more units buff in carrying capacity. And then this goes all the way up. The chain is actually mostly just red, uh, red, oh, blue, red, and yellow. I keep wanting to say green just because I'm used to Factorio. Uh, and yeah, so it's it's worth doing. Anyway, that's enough of that talk. We actually cannot really do anything else in our upgrade tree. There's a couple of blue and red techs I think we haven't unlocked. Which, if that is the case, we should go ahead and unlock now. Let me just make sure I'm not insane. Turns out I am. Okay, great. Today is going to begin with a simple build. I've gotten a few of these towers now. We have 20 currently in stock. That little that little sort of bootstrap plant I made over there is slowly creating them. And the remaining 20 towers I want to use to make the products that make towers. That's the goal for today's episode. If we make it onto Yellow Science, that's a bonus. I don't plan to make it onto Yellow Science. Also, we are now burning these hydrogen fuel rods. They are an incredible fuel source. We go through them so quickly because their burn rate is so high. But my 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 mat my, my I was gonna say my mana my energy almost never drops too low, which is quite nice. All right, so let's make these dang proliferators. Proliferators are made with coal. Uh, I've got some coal sort of sitting over here. There's a whole and there's some more coal over here. Why don't we grab this coal up? We could do this with the coal that's I've got some coal in the tower networks for this exact purpose. In fact, you know what we could do is we could uh, we could diversify even further. Yeah, so this is a bit of an awkward one because our power plants run into this. Uh, what if I just did it like this? Are you going to be mad? No, you seem fine with that. Okay, cool. So I think we'll build our proliferator setup over here. It's just going to be a very small one. We're going to drop that right over there. And we're going to run some belts. It's about time we start proliferating. Proliferation, basically, it's kind of like an efficiency upgrade for your factories and your base. Where, where you can... I don't know, it depends on different so different products have different effects it's a bit confusing um some things are get a 20 percent buff to their quantity right so uh red science cube goes 20 percent further than it normally would meaning that you end up using 20 percent re less resources to produce it some things are sort of crafted 20 percent faster if they're proliferated it's a little bit different for each thing um and each item will tell you what it is so for example if i proliferate 
a stack of proliferators themselves, like the buildings, right? Then all it does is uh, speed up the production of that building if I were to put this as a material into something else. It's a little strange. It's a little strange. I'm not going to lie to you. Okay, let's put the coal on the line. And since coal is in here, we don't actually need to worry about bringing it in from elsewhere. We can just feed it with this line and just run it straight out from here. Now, why am I making coal? So I've made proliferators themselves. We now need to make the juice that they spray, uh, the material. This is uh, in half a second, you get one with one coal, which means that three machine, which actually, which machine is that made in? Is that an assembler? Yeah. So three machines will do six per second is basically what that's telling me. So I'm going to grab this. I'm going to grab this. And we're going to go straight from the yellow proliferators to the other ones because we've unlocked, I think it's green, sort of a teal color. Let's bring up the coal as well. Come onto this line, bring it up just for neatness. And I will I will be blueprinting and sharing this design. This is going to be making this stuff. And we want to bring in coal. Nope, we can do it a bit faster than that. We're gonna bring in coal and we're going to output the juice. The juicy juice. There we go. And then we're gonna have an input line that runs back with the actual stuff we want to be outputting. So, you're going to output to there, you're going to output to there. Now, obviously, you can build proliferators a lot earlier than we're doing it. Um, I, I waited way too long on this, just because I, I wasn't familiar with the tech, and I was like, I didn't realize how good it was until uh, I, I have long passed needing it, but, well, that's not true. We always need it, but we could have benefited a lot more if I'd, if I'd gotten onto this a little bit earlier. Okay, cool. So, the yellow juice is on the line. The OJ is on the table. We now need to turn the OJ into... Uh, what's green juice? Mint J? Aloe vera? Maybe? I don't know. It takes two OJs and one diamond to make this guy. Okay, so let's bring him forward. We're gonna have to bring diamonds, diamonds, in from another side. But for now, this is gonna do... I think we'll do two machines. Because that should be able to keep up. Oh no, three machines! Because how, how many does it take? It takes two every one second. Right? And this produces one every half second. Okay, so we can do three machines. Perfect. We want to consume as much as we make. That's usually the goal. And then you're going to come out. All right, excellent. So, get inserted, get outputted, get inserted, get outputted. You know what? And just for symmetry's sake, I'm going to do it over there. All right, awesome. Then we can actually back that up. All right, stamp, stamp. Stamp, stamp. Lovely. Now we need to bring in the diamantes. So we're going to also put down a power tower or two. Excellent. And you know what? Put them in here as well, just for symmetry. Now we need to bring in the diamonds, which are going to come out the side of this here machine. I'm actually going to have to free up one of these slots in order to do that. Let me just clean this up real quick. Uh, I did realize when editing the previous episode that it, while it is cool to have lots of time lapses, it is a little jarring. You constantly sort of have the camera snapping around. And uh, I'd like to sort of streamline it a little bit. So we're going to have a few more. Maybe the episodes get a little bit less done, but we do a little more talking. We do a little less, a little less snapping of the neck. Okay, you're going to make diamonds. And it just so happens that diamonds are also made from coal. This whole, this whole proliferation thing is made from coal. There we go. Uh, we're going to bring the diamonds over here. Oh, I didn't set a recipe, did I? So we're going to, I did say coal. I want diamonds on this one. Thank you. So you're going to bring out diamond. Diamond's going to come up here. And we're going to bring it in over there. And then run it along the side. I'm going to do the same thing on this end. Give me diamonds. Bring the diamonds up. Ah, that's a bit of a concern, isn't it? We don't have uh, much space because there's all the stone. I'm going to have to move that stone. That is a me problem. I'm going to just simply delete that for now not particularly critical that's just making stone for our foundation uh, and what we'll do is we'll just go up and across and across to here this is gonna be so jank and then come down and then down and there okay cool it worked it worked we're safe uh, did I bring up any extra coal I did put that away please thank you all right and then we're gonna want to output the goods as we get them so this thing consumes one diamond every one second, so we need to produce six diamonds per second. Uh, and the thing is, I think we can do that just over here, to be honest. Because it uses this energetic graphite stuff, and would you would you look at it, 
we're making six energetic graphite per second right over here. Uh, that actually wasn't planned. That is sheer luck. Now, it makes them in these. Uh, because why wouldn't it? And I want you to go here. So what we're actually going to do is a little, a little janky. Okay? But I want you to panic now. How are we going to do this? How are we going to do this? I want... Okay, I'm going to have to do this a bit differently. Cole's going to have to come out here because I need, I, need, I need all these slots back. Cole's going to have to come out there. Right? Come out here. I'm going to bring you back. I do want to get the coal in from these machines, but I need to I need to use this side as well. So then the diamantes are going to flow from this port. Okay. I think it's kind of good that you guys see how I do my iterative design. Because it is it is entirely iterative. Like I I I move and change things more times than they stay still, that's for sure. Okay, this can all come in, but this is this is this isn't gonna always be there, right? This is just because we happen to be next to a coal plant. Uh, that can get nuked now. We're gonna literally put it back where it just was. Don't you just love a bit of regressive uh, work? Talk about iterative. That's just uh, <laughs> that's the opposite. <laughs> okay, cool. Now, uh, coal needs to be... I kind of want to make it so that this thing is self-contained. So even though we are making the good stuff here, I'm actually going to delete this for now. Okay, don't be mad. And we're going to create a full, like, from the beginning to the end, right? This is going to make coal. Coal's going to come out here. Coal's going to go down the line. We're going to get one of these bad boys. Here, here, here. This is going to make the good stuff. This is going to make energetic graphite. Energetic graphite is going to go... Have we still got the side there? We do still have the side there. Hmm, no, no, energetic graphite, we don't need to put the energetic graphite inside the thing. Energetic graphite's gonna come out here. Energetic graphite's gonna come out here. Just like this. We're gonna put the coal in, in, out, out. You're gonna make this, you're gonna get stamped, you're gonna get stamped. We're gonna have two power poles here and here. This is gonna get pushed back. I am so full of garbage, oh my goodness. Uh, you can take this, put that, just put that in there for now. Yeah, that seems fine. Now, in an ideal world, we'd actually feed this back in, into this machine. No, I, I need it, just, I need it just for the blueprint. I gotta do it. Okay, I'm sorry. I don't make, I mean, I literally do make the rules and the series and all of the arbitrary restrictions, but this one time, this one time, okay, <laughs> this is all for me. All right, this way, all of the resources we use are covered in from the same place. So we're just going to cut this out for now for the for the copy-pasting moment, okay? Uh, you then are going to bring out the energetic graphite that we just created. You're going to go out here. You're going to come out over here. It's all going to work. Don't panic. Don't panic. And I'm wrong. We should actually go out the middle... Uh, because that way we can bring the diamond. No, what am I doing? I'm a fool. The diamonds must come in the middle because otherwise it'll be weird to wrap it around. Okay, then, then we build three more of these. We change the recipe to diamonds. Thank you. We pivot this inwards. We bring it down. We pivot this inwards. We bring it down. And. This is so ludicrously unnecessary. <laughs> you don't have to do it. Like, I don't know why I'm doing it this way. <laughs> and then... Uh, why not, though, at the same time? And then uh, bring you around, and you're going to wrap this way, and you're going to go back into the machine. Okay, and we're going to do what we've done before, which is in, 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 out. And then paste, 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 paste. And we're making diamonds, baby. It's that easy. No one tell the beers. They'll they'll sue me into the ground. Okay, put down that. All right, and that is actually like a self-contained proliferator tower blueprint. Kind of insane. Uh, so I'm gonna just remove all the stuff that doesn't need to be on here, and we're gonna blueprint this up for your for your using pleasure. Am I missing anything? I got a little extra nubs on the sides. Yeah, there's a little nub over there we don't need sure that stuff's not in the list it's not okay let's save it so this is going to be a proliferator build we'll call that teal oh, so we'll say mark 
to proliferator tower all right and we'll save that and this will be the first of our many 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 tower builds that we're going to be putting together today all right and now we're making proliferators this this whole feeding the, the the stuff in and then out is not necessary it's just so that if you want to you can hit demand on this the idea being that you can bring in external energetic graphite if for whatever reason you haven't got enough coal like maybe you're getting this from um uh from from oil refining you can skip having the coal or you maybe you can you can you know remove this whole segment and just feed it out it just gives you some versatility in the build how you decide to use it is completely up to you of course um, I'm going to leave that on storage for now. I don't want this uh, supplying it to the network because I want that to only be used for this. And the same goes for my diamonds. I only want that to be for this. And honestly, if this coal wasn't being fed from here, I would also say that it would have to... Oh, hold on. We're in trouble here. Uh, I'm going to have to do this, and then we're just going to have to upgrade this belt at some point. Okay, cool. That's just going to have to go to a level 2 belt. All right. For now, the proliferators should flow. Why doth the proliferator not flow? Am I not making diamonds? I'm making diamonds, baby. Oh, we did... Uh, <laughs> Good thing I didn't upload that uh, blueprint yet. Uh, it's all backwards, is what it is. It's all a little bit backwards, man. Okay, plug you in. Uh, give me that. Plug that in like this. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna have to blueprint this all over again. And I guess it's better, because now we can blueprint it with the... With the storage tags attacked, right? Or attached, rather. Attacked. Okay, cool. And that's going in. So we're going to give this guy just like 15 drones. I don't expect there to be much proliferation being sent around. But the stuff is flowing. Looks like we could actually have one more. Am I? Am I insane? Why would we be able to have one more? I think it's because this line's oversaturated. Right? Like, surely this should be doing six per second. One for every one second. Weird. Is there a power deficit? No. Oh, these machines... Are, oh, that's right. These machines have a 75% crafting rate. I haven't been accounting for that. Um, the level 2 machines, which I don't know if we can make it. We can. These ones here. They have a 1 times production speed. So, it, like, upgrading to blues does increase your power consumption, but it also gives you a 25% speed boost, and it makes the ratios actually work out. None of our ratios are actually going to work because everything is running slower than it's supposed to. That breaks. That makes sense. That makes sense. Okay, cool. I guess the nice thing about feeding this back into the tower is that it also balances out the output. Which is, that's actually pretty cool. So you, your belt is always full. Um, obviously until the, the internal stockpile runs out, which uh, we, we will, which it doesn't look like it's going to. It's actually trending upwards. Very slightly. No, oh no, no, I saw a dip to six for a second. I think it's actually trending downwards. But that's okay. It'll take a very long time to get there. And we'll probably actually max out the proliferation before that even happens. Okay, so now what do we even do with this stuff, man? I hear you asking. Well, let me show you. So, if I've got some proliferators and I want to boost the value of an item. Let's say I want to make it so that I have 20% more value out of my ore. Oh, actually, there's one thing we should do. Uh, one last step before I re-blueprint this. And I'm very glad I noticed it now. Is... I need to actually stop this run because we need to proliferate the proliferators. So this stuff is going to come out here. It's a little bit goofy, but it's going to work. We're going to put this on a proliferator, just like this. So we can actually boost our boost item. I want it to come like this. It's going to go up a tier. I think it has to go out one more. We're going to come like this, we're going to go like this, we're going to go up a level, we're going to go through the machine, which is what actually does the boosting. And then, while up a level, I want you to come here, come to here, and then you can go down and gracefully re-enter. Thank you. So now what's happening is you'll see these got these little double arrow marks on it. That means that it's gotten a full dose of boostage. And if I pick one of these up, you can see... Oh, hold on. I've made a mistake. I need to first put this away. Put this away. I don't know if it'll show me what it's doing. There we go. So, because it's been proliferated by a... Uh, it's gotten two points of proliferation, you can see in the tooltip there. It is getting a 50% speed up, I believe. 
yeah, 50% production speed up, which is amazing. So if it's used in another product, it would boost that production by 50%. It isn't being used, so that doesn't mean anything. Instead, it gives us 20% extra products as well, and 70% more energy is consumed when using it. That's something to be aware of. Um, the extra products part is the most important bit, meaning that since we get a 20% boost, we use 20% less coal for all things, or for, for this production. So what we're going to want to do is resources which we're a little worried about running out, we want to proliferate. So copper is a big one. Iron, not so much, but maybe it's worth doing 20% more iron would be good. The power consumption cost is pretty extreme, though. So copper is something I definitely want to be proliferating. Uh, I'm probably, I'm gonna start, uh, I think I'm going to start saying boosting, because all this proliferation speak is actually, it's making my, my mouth dry up. It's, it's kind of hard to say. <laughs> as weird as that sounds. Okay, so we actually need to bring proliferators over here now. And uh, what better tool for that than a tower? So this tower is going to now request like a hundred of these at a time. These drones will fly out. Those drones will fly in. We'll get some proliferator. And it's going to be a little bit spaghetti early on, but I just I don't have enough towers to like make one tower just for that, you know. We're not there yet. Okay, so you're going to come over here. You're going to go into the machine. And voila. The proliferation shall occur. It doesn't have to go through it, I don't think. I will see in a second. Like I said, I've barely played around with these. I sort of I watched a Nylaus video where he sort of explains the basics of it, and that's what I'm working off of, if this seems familiar. Alright, come on. Bring it in. We're ready. We're ready for you. As the sun sets. Perfect for cinematography. Just what you want to see. Come on, baby. Come on now. And... It looks like it is filling, but will it fill the second one? Okay, so those, that copper ore is now proliferated. Awesome. This copper ore is now proliferated. Awesome. The one thing to remember is that our power consumption is now going to increase significantly. 12 kilowatts, 468 kilowatts. Holy shit, that's a lot of kilowatts. Ah, oh, it really spikes. So the reason is that it's because we are using 70% more power to smelt these proliferated ores, but we end up using 20% less ore. That's the important part. So yes, we do end up spending more power. Uh, I just said that twice. What I mean by that is we have, we, we will be fine. We will be, will. now you can proliferate both the input and the output, but just because the ore that smelts this stuff is proliferated doesn't mean that the copper will be. So in fact, we could stick another one here again. I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll do this one because it's there, but Copper is, is, a, is a finite resource on this planet, so we kind of want to preserve what we've got. Alright, lovely. You're going to come in. You're going to go out. And of course, because we proliferated the proliferators, they will actually end up using more power uh, in these machines as well to, to, do the, to do the task. It's a little bit sussy, but it is what it is. Yeah, you're going to just pull from this line, I think, just to make life a bit easier. You're going to stay on the second floor. You're going to come in here. And into that machine. Thank you. All right, nice. And that's going to allow us to both proliferate the input and the output. So, with that being said, at 25 minutes of sheer talking, I don't know how I'm going to edit that down. I'm going to pause the recording here. We're going to, I'm going to go through and prolifer proliferate all the stuff I feel is important, and then I'll bring you guys back for, uh, for whatever's next. We're on one of the. Everything on the planet has now been proliferated that I want to be proliferated. I kind of just limited it to like science and uh, certain like high value byproducts like graphene and things. I also went and did all the copper I could find. I'm sure I'll find some more over time, but I don't want to spend all my day doing that. So we're going to come to one of the um, less uh, inhabited islands on this planet. One of the very few remaining uninhabited islands. And we're going to absolutely destroy this pristine ecosystem. Let's go ahead and start building all the pieces we need to make the the towers and the stuff that powers the towers because then we can make everything else, right? It all just sort of flows from the towers. From the towers, the power flows. Uh, also, please just put down these wind turbines. I don't want them with me and I'd rather they do something than nothing. Thank you. All right, so our very first order of the day is going to be to adapt our blueprint. So our do -do 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 basic assembling blueprint, right? Two in, one out basic. We've all been there. We all know what to do with it. This is going to get stamped down right over here. And we're going to now incorporate the tower into it. So whatever this is will be output one. Whatever this is will be output one. Whatever this is will be output two. And whatever this is will be output two. 
just like that. Right now, if we uh, choose a setting, there we go, like that. I should be able to just do it, and then bang, it's already on the block. Now, if I remove it, I will have to reset it. So let's just set that again. But if I mouse over the filter, you'll see it's now set to output one. All right, cool. And that's how easy it is to get that all on the grid. Now we're going to blueprint this. This is going to be our tower. I want this set up to max. Uh, we're going to try and have... Uh, not that many. It's too many. Let's try and have like... Well, it's too many for now. Let's try and have like 20 drones on there. And what am I missing? Oh, I need to upgrade the inserters because this is an old blueprint now. I uh, know we're going to go one level up, please. Now let's do an upgrade and then upgrade. And I think we should also try and upgrade our belts pretty soon as well. This, this six belts per second thing is... I mean, we have like logistics bots and we're still using the first belts. This is... That's just laziness on my part more than anything. Okay, let's copy you. You're going to be our two-in-one-out tower basic. Uh, so we're going to call you do a tower. And we'll say two in one out tower. Okay, and same thing here. And I'll call it actually tower basic. Because it is still the... It's still like the tier one insert. You know, tier one of these, tier one of these. Intermediates when we start getting onto blues and then advanced will be uh, more expert. I don't know what we'll call it. Is going to be go a bit further. Okay, awesome. So that's all set up. So now I want these things to make. Okay, we got to make. Let's start with making logistics drones. So in order to make logistics drones, we need thrusters. So let's make thrusters here. We're going to get uh, steel and copper plates. You will make thrusters, steel and copper plates. Let's go ahead and request steel there, and let's request copper plates, and we're going to output thrusters. Now, what I like to do is so have a backlog in the tower so that I can make 1,000 more of whatever I'm trying to make. We also don't need 5,000 of these stored. Let's store like 2,000. We'll have another 1,000 in the backlog, so the ratios will then be 3 to 2. And that way you don't just put... You don't end up with like your entire planet's copper supply sitting in this tower doing nothing, right? It's just a, it's just like a good, good practice kind of thing. All right. And the drones will be off on their way to collect this. Oh, we do actually need to power this entire thing. Uh, let me just plop some foundation in the water. Give me a power pole. Give me a power pole. Thank you. All right, lovely. This thing is now powered. Let's go ahead and stamp this down. And just like that, we have now produced uh, these. These are all on the network, right? Yes, they are. And just like that, we have now produced thrusters. It's, it's, it, towers just make crafting in this game so trivial. I love them. It's amazing. Okay, let's fill in some ocean. Sorry, fishies. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Very nice, just like that. Okay, and now we're going to stamp down a bunch more towers. So, what else do we need to make? Let's have a quick look here. So, in order to produce our logistics drones, that's a three in, one out. Uh, we could actually just make the logistics drones themselves right now. So, we could, let's stamp down. Because the drones themselves are, is that a two or three? The drones themselves are a three in. So, let's make our three in blueprint. So we're going to do it over here. We're going to go basic assembling. Three in, one out. Our basic... Okay, we're going to have to do it over here. Our basic assembler will face this way. Just like this. That should be right. We're just going to have to turn around the ins the input. Now, will we actually be able to? Now I'm thinking about it. The... Hold on. So we're going to have... One, two, th one, two, three, four. Yeah, it should work. It should work. So we're going to run the inputs. going to come back towards the tower now. There we go. And once we've standardized, modularized, yada, yada, all of this, it gets a lot simpler, as I'm sure you can already tell, to do all the other more complex builds in this game. You basically get all your primary resources on the network, and then you could just go from there. All right, so you're going to come out. This will be export one. So export one is going to be one of our primaries. This will be export two. This will be export three. This will be export two. This will be export three. Be careful when setting the exports, you can accidentally switch slots and then it uh, interrupts what you're doing. Something to be aware of. Oh, apparently we, uh, for some reason, have the solar panel saved as part of this blueprint. Uh, I don't know how I managed to get that wrong, but okay. That's, uh, that's on me. I guess I must have saved over it to have the green inserters? No, no, I, I, we only made it in the last episode. What am I talking about? 
Okay, so you're going to take this. You are going to be three dash in, one out, our basic. Okay, not like a basic bitch, more like a basic build. It's <laughs> classic basic build behavior over here. Okay, lovely. Save that blueprint. And we are off to the races. Let's go ahead and stamp down logistics drones. We won't actually be able to make them yet, of course, but this is just sort of a bit of future proofing. It absolutely doesn't hurt to have this stuff just ready to go. Okay, so drones require uh, five iron, two CPUs, two thrusters. We know that the inner, inner one here is iron, so let's go five iron. Go iron on the inside. We'll go thrusters next to it, and we'll go CPUs next to that. And then your output is drones. Now, I don't need that many drones. I think I probably want to make like a thousand drones at any given time. That's five stacks. That's more than enough. Uh, what's the ratio? Two, two, two. Okay, I don't want to make a thousand more drones. So I think we'll just, we'll save like 500 CPUs, 500 thrusters, and a thousand five hundred. Actually, we won't do it. Two thousand five hundred iron plates. That seems reasonable. All right, you can take yourself some drones. Feels a bit ridiculous to not give this a full stack, considering what it is, but for now we are poor, so you get 20. Go on max, I didn't save the max, that's on me. I'll, okay, next time we stamp it down, I'll have to edit that. And now here's a little trick. Since our thrusters... Oh wait, and this is actually going the wrong way, isn't it? Oh, oopsie, oopsie, both of these blueprints are wrong. Okay, I'm going to fix them both real quick. This needs to go back in, that's my bad. And then what our thrusters can do is come out the side here and go into this machine. There's something to be that's something cool we don't have to worry about transporting it then but okay i'm going to reset the filters and uh copy these again okay there we go everything's been tidied up this is now working but as you can see we still need to make things like cpus we can't actually make these drones or even the towers for that matter until we have cpus so let's make some cpus we're going to want to put da -da 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 -da. i also noticed that iron ingots are not on the belt are not on the network i don't know how i managed to miss that but i did so we we have a bunch of iron ore on the network so i think we'll just set up a smelter somewhere and do that a bit more modularly. So you, I want you to be making CPU cores. But now CPU cores require these microcrystalline components and these I want to make in like really large quantities. So those might not be sufficient for a tower. We might want to do that near an actual copper resource or something. Um, but let's instead go ahead and set up processes for this one. Oh, sorry, I'm getting a phone call. All right, there we go, Never mind. And there we're going to grab this. Okay, cool. So that's going to be CPU cores. Now, CPU cores, I like to put the thing I'm outputting on the bottom. Just It's just sort of like a habit, really. So I know what I'm doing. Uh, we're going to bring in CPU uh, circuit boards, sorry. And we're going to output... No, I'm also going to input microcrystalline components. We're going to be outputting these bad boys, CPUs. All right, we're probably going to want more than one CPU. So I'm actually going to do a double up tower here, which is where... We, well, as the name suggests, we double up the towers. Wow, who would have thought? I know, he's a genius. Applaud him. Okay, so basically I'm just going to grab this. This I'm not going to blueprint right now because it's not that common that I actually want to do this. Towers are good at, like, modularity. And once I have a lot of them, I tend to just build more towers rather than, uh, rather than sort of building more rigs, I guess. Maybe that's just bad habit on my part. Okay, you're going to come out here. There we go. You're going to come out here. You are going to be circuits. You are going to be circuits. You are going to be an input. Okay, very nice. So uh, that doubles the throughput of circuits. Now we need to do the same thing for microcrystalline components. I guess we could do the same thing for microcrystalline components in this exact format, basically. Uh, let's go ahead and set this up. So I want you to make a thousand... I want to store 5,000 of these. And I'm going to store like 2,000, 2,000 in here. And let's go ahead and start demanding, because we can actually bring these in. Looks good. And then let's actually go ahead and copy this. Oh, we need to fill in a bit more foundation first, I believe. Yeah, yeah, this needs to be... This needs to be paved. We are filling in the ocean today, boys. This is going to be for microcrystalline components, and I might actually have to do two, depending on our spacing. That can go too close to the logistics tower. Can we space it one? No, one more. There it is. Okay, I need to very quickly grab this tower and tell it not to bring electronic components because we did copy this. And then we will be changing all these 
forts, uh, uh, storage, storage. Okay, cool. Or just clear and reset, I suppose. All right, very nice. You are going to be doing microcrystalline components. And in fact, we can do one of these then. That can just feed directly from this machine into that one. And the same thing, by the way, the thrusters can just be fed from this machine into this one. Saves us having to do, uh, you know, trips with the with the actual droids, with the drones. Hold on. What have I gone wrong here? Oh, we don't need steel here. What am I doing? We need uh, this. Steel's the other one. I'm a goofy goober. I'm a goofy goober. There we go. Okay, this, this steel can just get dumped in there then. So here we go. And that is now the infamous two in... What did I call it? Double two in one out tower basic. Okay, what a what a name. Just rolls right off the tongue, doesn't it? You're going to be microcrystalline components. Uh, or are you? Question mark. Yes, you are. And uh, microcrystalline components, just to save a bit of work, can actually just be fed straight into this machine. This saves us six per second of a drone doing the hopping. You know, it's not a big, it's not, it's not much, but it's honest work. Yeah, you need to get silicone plates and you need to get copper. It's all set up and ready to go. Oh, God, I love that efficiency. All right, you're going to grab this. And we're going to stamp this down. You're going to become this. And we're going to stamp this down. You like where this is going, don't you? You're going to grab one of these. You're going to grab one of these. Because of the way we're building this, like, slightly higher up in the hemispheres, um, there is a, a bit of an idiosyncratic thing where it's, like, not lining up perfectly. But you, you can't win them all, right? Okay, full full supply on that. Give me... What's it? Uh, it's two to one. So we'll have a thousand... 2,000 copper plates are a precious resource after all. Give me... I think I'm going to have like... This is going to be pretty busy, this one. So let's get like 30 over here. And let's start demanding. Demanding. All right, so what was? What did we discover was not on the grid? Ah, yes. Uh, these bad boys. Iron ingots. That is not going to fly. We need to get iron ingots on the grid ASAP. And I'm thinking we come over here and we just stamp down a little tower smelter. And we designed one of those anyway. So, tower smelter, we fill that in. We uh, do one of these, square it off a bit, and give me a tower. I think I want to do it over here. Let's do it over. Let's do it over here. We can always just put some more land down if we need to. All right. Now, I want this thing to take out. We're going to design this around a 12 per second belt. It's going to be a little underkill at the moment. But I want this thing to do 12 items of whatever it is per second. That's 9. That's 12 per belt, by the way. This is going to be a real big boy. There we go. That's 12. And then on this side, we do the same thing. Give me the spacing. That looks great. And then we just need our towers. And now the cool thing about this, right, is so we're obviously, as you know, we're going to be running for the moment, it will be tier one belts, but soon this will be soon this will be rectified. Soon, TM. We're gonna run these belts like this. Then our outputs are gonna come back in this way. And this way. Lack of item. I kind of almost don't want to actually blueprint this. Until I can actually support it. Yeah. Okay, no, no, no. What we're going we're, we're gonna to scale back a little bit. We're going to scale back just a little itty bitty bit. Okay. I love how these things like fork. It looks so funny. Alright. Cool. Oh, why, none of this is working. Bring me this back. And the reason is I want to I, I want to do this right the first time. You know. I don't want to be messing around with these stupid, stupid yellow belts forever. The next thing we're going to be building after we get the tower power done is the what am i doing man what am i doing we're gonna go in out in out copy i suppose what we could do is we could make like a primitive version of the thing uh, a basic version if you will yeah i mean why not so then all we basically do to do that all we basically basically do to basically basically is copy say use now built this in the worst place imaginable i'm now realizing uh stick this over Will this fit over here? I think we'll just do it like this, to be honest. Just to simplify things a bit. Yeah, you go there. And you go there. It all fits rather remarkably. 
Okay, I'm gonna have to go get some more belts. I'll be right back. Okay, turns out we had um, 7,900 of these things sitting in, or 6,900 of these sitting in a box. Uh, one of the, actually the very, very, very first episode's basic starter game box. Kind of hilarious that that's just how that worked. But right, so then we're just gonna feed all this in as such. And we're going to start bringing out once more. Uh, I'm going to queue it up as though this is all smelting the same thing, but you could very easily just change the outputs on this to have different, the different ores being smelted by the same machine. Absolutely nothing wrong with it. Bring this in. And we're just going to fit stuff where we can fit it. Okay, we're going to take in here, take out number one here, and take in the outputs there. There we go. Looks great. It's not like it's not perfectly symmetrical, but it's good enough. Oh, hold on. I have a small problem. We can't actually get the last output in. Ah, because we're missing uh we're missing a slot here. That is on me. How do I want to fix this? We need to use that slot. Okay, I think the solution here is that you're an output. Not symmetrical anymore, but we're just gonna we're gonna have to just hunker down, become stronger men, and just to just find a way to survive, really. In this unsymmetrical world. Asymmetrical place. And you're gonna have to move down a step. You're gonna come up and over. And to there. And down. Okay, perfect. Not ideal, but it does work. Yeah. I'm, I mean, I'm sure there was a way we could have done that better. But that's good enough for me. Good enough for government work, as they say. And we are now going to blueprints. Okay, so that's going to be on max. Am I missing anything? I think I'm missing this. This needs to be set to 1. It is set to 1. Make sure the filters are set on these guys. Yep. And... That's coming in, that's coming in, this is coming out. Yep. Out, yep. And out, yep. Okay, let's blueprint it. So this is going to be our... This is going to be our tower. Smelter. 18 per second. Basic. Zake. Basic. Could you, could you capitalize, please? Thank you. There we go, paste that there, put this here. We're going to put a tower emoji. There's going to be a lot of towers uh, in this one. And we're going to hit save. Very nice. And let's queue this up. Okay, I want you to import... Oh, sorry. This is going to be export iron plates. And we're going to import iron. We're going to demand it. I demand it. We're going to get a bunch of these. And that's going to be gorgeous. Okay, let me go ahead and set these up real quick. This is going to... I say real quick. It's going to take a minute. Ah, and much like on Arrakis, the spice has begun to flow. I don't know how I entered the planetary mode there, my bad. This is looking fantastic. We got a lot of ore here already. And yeah, yeah. As fast as these are being made, they're being consumed. Uh, that tells me we probably want to commit a few more drones to this spot. And they are flowing pretty strongly. I think we actually maybe want to double this up. Let me grab another one of these. I'm gonna stick that right over here. We're gonna have to go get some more smelters, but yeah, that's gonna we're gonna double that up. Okay, our little plant is going really well. It looks it looks quite organized. Uh, both of our steel mills have already filled up. That is just fantastic news. The power grid is struggling, but it's still alive. Just barely, but it is still alive. All right, cool. There's one more thing I want to tackle today before we wrap up, and it's not going to be tower construction just yet. It's going to be getting us closer to tower construction. Tower construction is a little steep. Uh, we've actually got everything on this list made now, except for those purple containers. Purple containers themselves require us to make the green turbines. The green turbines require us to make electric motors. Electric motors require us to make magnetic coils. <gasps> magnetic coils require us to make magnets and copper. Now, uh, we're going to make up another smelter over here. I think since they're all in the same place, we might as well just do it right there. We're going to stamp down another largely unemployed, largely unemployed tower smelter, comma, basic 18 per second. Let's drop that right over there. And this one is going to make magnetic rings. Uh, or magnets, rather. And then we're going to have to make... So, how do I want to describe this? We're going to have to make a lot of magnetic coils. Because this requires magnetic coils. One per, per unit, right? And this requires magnetic coils. Two per unit. So, each one of these requires three of these. It's a little steep. 
Uh, and then you got to make these guys as well, which require two of these. So each one of these requires six of these. The way I found to do it is to make a dedicated production chain for each one of these items. Now, what I mean by that is for every magnetic coil you make... So, allow me to make this clearer. If you make electric motors, right, you need one magnetic coil. So you make one electric motor factory, you make one magnetic coil factory. In order to make electromagnetic turbines, you could use these electromagnetic electric motors, but you're never going to have any because this is going to eat all of them because it takes two at a time and these produce pretty slowly. This needs its own dedicated plant. So when we make this one, we make a magnetic coil factory for it. When we make this one, we make electric motor and a magnetic coil factory for it, which means we're going to have two of these and two of these so far. To make these ones, the super magnetic rings, which we also need a lot of, we're going to make a dedicated factory for this, for this, and for this. So we're going to have one, two, three, and four of these factories respectively. So four magnetic coils, three electric motors, two electromagnetic turbines, and one super magnetic ring. This may seem like an insane overbuild. Maybe it is, but I just, I always find myself running out of these. I'll build up a stockpile of this, a stockpile of this. You don't use it in huge amounts. But these things, my god, man, I'm just always running out of them in my other games. The only way I found around it is to literally just overbuild to the point where the game is like, okay, I guess I guess I won't even try to keep up. Just you do you, King. That's what we're going for, is the you do you, King moment. Our first batch of drones has already come in, by the way. We had another, like, 600 just sitting in this tower for me. Already up to another 82. I'm going to keep grabbing them. So now we can finally start stocking these guys properly. I'm going to just click this little button. It's going to automatically dump in all the ones we don't have. I want everybody at 50 drones. It just makes life a hell of a lot easier. It's probably not necessary for some of these. They are quite expensive, but I think it's quite useful to... Well, no, it's not useful. It's it's just nice to have, to know, right, that everything's taken care of. We are pretty much completely out of silicon, and uh, this is only going to get worse because we just can't produce it fast enough on this planet. We're making it out of stone, after all. Yeah, it's not great. It's not great, which means we're also going to be constantly running out of these guys the microcrystalline components. Not ideal. So something we're probably going to want to do is look into getting the next step, which is the interplanetary logistics station. Uh, once we've got these getting made, it's quite, it's, it's much, it's fairly trivial, I'll say, to get the other ones made up, but we need to get the next science first. But regardless, I'm going to start on the magnetic coils. Now, like I said, I'm going to be producing these in like serious overabundance. We're going to be doing one, two, three, four additional right so i'm going to if i'm making four of these i might as well use the double up since it just works but let's grab the double up blueprint we're going to stamp down two of them double two in one out because the magnetic coils are just a two input recipe which is really nice oh it needs to go one more space over i think yep gotta space these out a little bit very cool man these towers just make things all right, I'm going to say it again. I'm going to say it a thousand times. It makes things trivial. All right, so you're going to make me these, and you're going to bring in copper, and you're going to bring in magnetic coils. Just magnets. These are the magnetic coils. Every time. Every single time. Okay, store 5,000. It's a two-to-one ratio, so we're going to store two and one. All right, magnetic coils are now underway. There come the first magnets coming in. The copper coils, will, the copper plates, rather, will follow shortly. I think most of our copper is coming from over there right now. Yeah, I'm going to have to figure out a way to get some more copper on the belt. Uh, we are, we are, yeah, at a million left. I'm a little scared of just how, of precisely just how little copper is left on this planet. But I, I am constantly made more aware. Thank you, game, by the way. Um, I must remember that we are burning through steel by placing all these down. But you know what? I think it's fine. Okay, cool. That's the last of our, fun well, not the last of our foundation. Last of the foundation on me. I think that I have another, like, 27,000 stored up somewhere. All right, now we're going to build up these. So these this is a bit of a weird thing. These things, right, are a double recipe. These are not. This is triple, this is triple. I'm going to put down one more double plant, even though it's kind of like the middle of what we're trying to do here. It's a little weird, I know. We're going to put this one here. This is going to make the green turbines. And uh, even though I know it's we're kind of like skipping a step so it won't go right away, it just looks nicer to have all these double plants next to each other, I think. And with that, our factory is complete. Man, it's starting to look pretty cool. So just to recap, we're going to make four of these magnetic coils, which will make three electric motors, which will make two electromagnetic turbines, which will make one of the blue ones, which is a super magnetic ring. Let's go ahead and set that up. The electromagnetic turbines are currently awaiting things. And I want to do the super magnetic rings here for one simple reason. 
which is that once again we can kind of just give ourselves a little bit of a boost a little bit of a help out power wise and run these into there just bring them straight across you know nice and easy okay so what are the actual ratios for this thing two three one uh, I believe that this is set to 1. Okay, so we want number 1 to be the biggest gain, which is going to be magnets. Number 2 will be the electromagnetic turbines. Number 3 will be energetic graphite. Okay, and we want to keep... I'm going to keep 5,000, obviously, as always. Uh, we're going to give this 50 drones. Uh, we want the ratios to be right. So 1, 3, 2... Or 1, 2, 3, rather. 1, 2, 3. Nice. And we can go ahead and start demanding. Let's get this thing going. Alright. Now we're going to switch over to these. This is going to be our uh, electric motors. Very cool. Uh, take your take your 50 drones, sir. Take your 50 drones. Take your 50 drones before I forget. Honestly, I wish I could just like sort of stamp down towers, but you can't copy them. You have to do this manually each time. This is all going to be electric motors. Okay, then how do we want to do this? 2, 1, 1. Alright, so iron plates gears or oh, we're not actually making gears i'm gonna have to go put those on the network and magnetic coils awesome so we're gonna go two one one two one one and we're gonna go demand 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 and it begins all right let me set up the rest of this now the eagle eyed among you may have noticed that we haven't set the recipes yet that's completely right i still need to do that and also that these smelters have absolutely no chance in hell of keeping up with this demand but we will scale we will scale the power grid is no longer functional we need to scale that too there's a whole lot that needs to happen here we might actually end up turning off a couple of these because we don't need the scale of production just yet it's just kind of nice to have it you know and by the way to turn it off all we need to do is switch these to storage and then it will just make what it has and then stop producing after that the very simple way to deal with this so let's go ahead and queue up these the way we want them to be made nice and easy it's going to be super magnetic rings all the way down yeah and i think we might need to turn these off i might i probably don't even need the rings right now although they are nice to have because there's all sorts of crafts that require them uh you're going to be electric motor you're going to be electric motor this should let me copy across the different uh builds if they're lined up on the grid looks like they are awesome gonna save us a few clicks uh, carpal tunnel in this game is a real threat just so if you are at risk of that please be careful when deciding to play this uh you can or like a repetitive stress injury is also very much on the danger zone all right cool so that's cooking oh no it's not we're not making gears okay let's go put further strain on our already ailing iron grid and fly over here because i'm already making gears um what's happening i'm stalling out there we go I don't know what happened there. Uh, we have some gears over here. That's not quite going to cut it, though, I don't think. That's not exactly the, the lifetime supply we're looking for. I'm a little loath to put... No, no, we're not going to do that. Okay, no, no. We're going to go back. We're going to go... We're going to just make a gear factory right over there with the rest of them, and then we're going to call that an episode, and that's going to be super cool. Um, just for context, it probably took me, I'm guessing now, an hour to build all of this, and that's in 12... Almost 13 hours now of game time. This speeds you up so much it is comical uh, i'm going to make a dedicated uh gear one because we don't actually need the two in one out well we're basically we're just going to take the two in one out and we're going to change the layout a little bit we're just going to remove these ends on each one and we'll take off the inserters because we don't need to use them and i'm actually going to make a gear factory for each one of those uh factories down there again i know we are really pushing the i need to get some soil pile we are really pushing the power grid to its limits with this but i i think this is necessary because otherwise we're just going to constantly be waiting on resources uh what's the problem you good there no too close you good there too close you good there you good there there nice i suppose we can blueprint this why not and then uh, the one thing I will do is just to turn on this symbol. We should be doing that from now on whenever we upgrade our blueprints. Because uh, I'm assuming at this point you are able to do this. We'll call this a gear tower basic. And this will be gear tower basic. Same. Probably need to change the thumbnails. Well, these are, these are all not specific, right? Like this is proliferated towers. Yeah, these are like generic ones. They can just have the tower logo. That's fine. 
Alright, uh, these do have their... They do have those on them. Awesome. But guys, that is unfortunately all the time we have for today. Look at this madness. We have turned this once boring tropical paradise into a powerhouse of industrialization and mechanization. And god damn it, I'm proud to be American, right? <laughs> I'm not even American. But I am proud of how far we've come. I think it looks incredible. Uh, they're gonna hang around for a second and get some awesome screenshots. Look at the drones in the air. Let's actually go up into space real quick. See how this looks from, uh, not quite orbit, but approaching orbit. Okay, turn me around. Whoa! Oh, hold on, that's so cool. Alright, so in the next episode, we are going to be going yellow. We're going to be going yellow with jealousy as we do yellow science. We're also going to have to sort out this power grid one way or another. I think it might be time to start the Dyson part of Dyson Sphere program and shoot a few solar sails into orbit of Sheev, our glorious, gorgeous sun. If you guys are keen to see that and you want to see more, uh, what am I? Uh, it's M? It's just M? Okay. If you're keen on that and you'd like to see more, then uh, I hope to see you next time, probably tomorrow. As always, see you in the next one. Cheers. And of course, a huge thank you to the channel members and patrons for this month. Kelly Ananas, Call Me Bo 82 Old Man Tater, Freaking Friendly Beaver, Knee Cruncher, Riley David, Rybo, Charlie Weber, Mermix, Officer C4, Not K Arthur, Adachi Fanboy, Couch Potato, LCG Canyon Sahar, Jack Smallman, Cut Beef Goham, I'm Alpha, you're damn right I am, The Senate, and Richard Berry. Thank you guys so much for the support, you are all amazing.